four-run swing. I mean, it really was a four-run difference on that. Took three off the board and then got one himself. And uh, yeah, he's playing at a high level. Well, he had a good summer in the Cape, um, and uh, you know I think that helped his confidence tremendously. So you know he's, he's he is he's playing relaxed, and you know that was a heck of a play because if, if that thing goes out there, we don't make that play. Who knows how that game goes? As you know, I've been on the other side of those. Sometimes it takes a little wind out of your sail, but that was a huge play. Did you see his Um, good question. Uh, you know, I, I wanted to see it. I mean, I think I saw something where he got rated the top center fielder in the Cape or something like that. And, you know, and, and we just, we hadn't seen that consistency yet on our campus. So, but he had a good fall. He did. He had a good fall, good preseason. Um, you know, and he's played pretty well up to this point too. So, uh, happy for him. But he is, the, you said it, he's playing confidently right now. What did you think? Well, he did, he did what we needed him to do. Uh, we said if we get two out of him, I think we got two and two-thirds. So if we get two out of him, we are going to break it up anyway. Um, you know, I thought Eric was kind of the key to settle things down there a little bit. Uh, from the pitching standpoint, you know, that's a, a really, really good offense. You know, and I know people have talked a lot about that. I don't think we pitched great tonight, uh, particularly um, the leadoff walks, and those ended up gave up a couple runs, but to not pitch great and still shut that offense down, you know, I'm proud of our guys. I thought they battled tonight on the mound. What's the plan going up against a team like that, especially like they're like exhaust? Yeah, well, you know, he, he's good. Um, try to get strike one. I think you, just, you, you get strike one, you got a chance. The only way, and that wind blowing out, I mean, that was kind of a, uh, you know, not a good feeling, but you know, and we didn't do a good job of getting strike one tonight, but we'd made the pitches when we needed to. Um, but yeah, I, I, that kid, I, I, I look out at him and I said, I could, I could vision, envision that kid playing in the big leagues. He, he's a good player, really good player. Uh, oh, I thought it was late night. I thought I was going to shut it. Holding him to just three runs, though, um, like you said, I mean, you're really battling to do that. I mean, no, nobody's been doing that. I mean, you know, they've been averaging almost 14. So, I mean, it was kind of a long, kind of drawn-out game with everybody being really careful. But it seemed like they, they, you know, I guess where I'm going with this is, you know, that when you lost to them last year, that wasn't the outcome. No. You know, like what happened tonight. Well, and, and it, it's, and I, and, I, and I like it because a lot was made to do about the offense from both clubs. Our, you know, everybody was talking about our, our offense and certainly their offense and their numbers. You know, I'm, I'm proud and happy for our pitchers to come in there collectively. I mean, it took – we used five guys tonight to shut that down. And, um, but make no mistake, I, I think that team is well deserving of all the praise they're getting offensively. Those guys are good hitters. They're, they're going to win a lot of baseball games. But we've said it. You know, I don't think you win championships by your offense, and I think you win championships by your pitching and your defense. And we played clean baseball tonight defensively, and we pitched well enough to win. Um, you know, and, and I say that we gave up three, but we keep we keep focusing on like where we're going, what style of play is going to do it in in our conference. And you know, our big teaching point tonight is when you come in and out of the pen. You know, particularly late in the, in the ball game with the lead, we can't be having leadoff walks. That stuff will come back and haunt you eventually. And actually, they scored tonight. We were able to continue to tackle on runs, but that stuff has to clean up if we want to be where we want to be. With Blake, was it the velocity, the different velocity with him that was a concern? Yeah, we just yeah, he's not. There's nothing there. It just um, you know, it, it, it's kind of a. It, it's a tough thing sometimes when you're in the middle of the season and you're trying to, to, to develop pitches. And so when you're trying to develop pitches and work in practice settings and then all of a sudden now you got competition a day or so, you know, we just want to be smart with his arm. Um, he's been working on some of the secondary stuff, um, but then also being asked to go out and compete. So we were just taking no chances. We just thought, you know what, the velocity's down. He's clearly a little tired. Let's, let's just get him out. So, did he say he was feeling? He wanted to stay in. I mean, he 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 didn't he did not want to come out. But I'm older than him, <laughs> so 
I get to make that decision. <laughs> Anything different about actual play, or is it just the same? As no, I, you know, to me, it's about baseball. It's about, and we just talked about that. It's like you don't have to go out and do anything superhuman. There, I, I didn't like the way we ran the bases tonight. I think we left some 90 feet on the board on uh, some, some wild pitches, uh, potential, should have been wild pitches, and uh, pass balls, and we left that. And that's the stuff that you have to clean up because that's going to be the difference in our league. Our league is really competitive. The margin of error is probably that big. And those, those 90 feet, those are important. So for me, my, my negative takeaways tonight were the walks by the bullpen and also I just think some a lack of attention to detail on the bases tonight. Where in general in terms of how it's been the rest of the season did you guys hit playing the free base foul? I'm sorry. I, do, in your free base foul, did you guys keep we, track of that? We won it again. Yeah, I don't know the exact numbers on that, but we were ahead in that, in that category again. So... Yeah. How do you think the guys uh, mentally prepare to go into Pac-12 play where you get them to understand like these little things are going really you know, well, to are they already kind of there? Well, it's kind of, I was actually thinking about, I'm, I'm odd like that. I think stupid thoughts like that myself. So I'm actually walking out of my locker room and I said, you know, it's almost like the perfect prescription for the season because you're 16 games in. And you're, you're kind of – because I think tonight, clearly, I mean, I, I know we, we seemed a little tired. Our energy level was down. It was just kind of a weird game to me, honestly. It was real quiet. The stadium was quiet. Um, but you grind out a win. Almost like the game of baseball, how perfect the bases are. It's, it's whoever invented it set it up. I look at it like the schedule. We're 16 games in. We've kind of hit a little bit of a maybe an emotional lull. Well, now we don't have to say anything because conference starts. And I think just the fact that it's conference at this point is going to inject some of that energy and bring some newness to what we're doing. Um, my hope and my desire is that we don't feel like we have to do anything differently. We don't have to. We just have to continue to throw strikes, keep grinding out at bats, and play defense. Some things we need to shore up for sure, but I don't think any major overhauls going into Friday.